sex by eight or it's too late. That's not the unspoken thought of the adolescent boy who wants to seduce his girlfriend before her parents get home. It's got nothing to do with 8 p.m. Sex by eight or it's too late is the motto for the North American Man-Boy Love Association or NAMBLA and they mean eight years old. I belong to the pro-sex, pro-pop culture wing of feminism. I, I favor the legalization of prostitution. I have defended pornography. Okay. All pornography is okay mm -hmm. with you, including child pornography. Mm -hmm. Well, what, I, what I'm saying is that, part, uh, that the public display of pornography can be reasonably restricted. That is, it should not intrude into the public realm. Okay, you, you know, when you're coming out of a subway, a Christian person should not have to see, uh, you know, naked ladies. But the, but that, but those magazines should be available at the newsstand. Is what I'm saying. Okay, now. Camille Paglia, a self-described dissident feminist, is being presented to us as a voice of reason in the current political climate. She is lauded by conservative news outlets as an unlikely ally in the fight against progressive tyranny, championed by individuals such as Jordan Peterson, and promoted by the intellectual dark web. There is, however, something that all of them fail to mention about Camille Paglia. She is pro-pedophilia and has for decades advocated for the legalization of both pedophilia and child pornography. Her 1991 book, Sexual Personae, is even quoted on the official North American Man-Boy Love Association website, nambla.org, where she asserts that pedophilia is both rational and honorable, encompassing what she says is a beauty that Christian morality fails to recognize. This is not some kind of misunderstanding. Talia has repeatedly gone on record stating that she thinks child pornography and pedophilia should both be legalized. In 1994, she published another book entitled Vamps and Tramps, in which she described looking at child pornography and concluding that she sees nothing wrong with it. The only potential obstacle she perceived with regard to legalizing child pornography were existing laws relating to child labor. Catherine McKinnon, who says speech is rape, is that? Yes, or I, yes. I'm on the opposite wing. From Catherine McKinnon is the anti-porn wing of feminism. I am on the radically pro-porn wing. I'm more radical than Christina. Are you, are, are you pro-pornography? Uh, for adults, uh, for, I'm going to be very careful about. For, for, you know, I feel mm -hmm. in our society for children. But uh... note how Christina Somers was careful to distance herself from Palia's stance on child pornography. In 1999, Pallia was interviewed for The Guide magazine by pro-pedophile activist and former NAMBLA spokesman Bill Andriette. With us from Boston tonight is a spokesman for the North American Man-Boy Love Association, Bill Andriette. Well, NAMBLA is a political and educational organization that deals with consensual relationships between men and boys, loving consensual relationships that are made criminal in this country and in many other countries by age of consent laws that are absurdly high. What does NAMBLA want the age to be? Well, we're open on that question. Um, many well, countries open. have You don't want a 10-year-old, do you? Well, we don't think age of consent laws are a good way to protect young people from sexual coercion. There's no arbitrary limit that we think the law should set Let's say your nine-year-old make... sister says, Hey, Bill, I wanted to go to bed with this 23-year-old man. Would you be upset? Well, I think we have to talk to the, the girl and find out what she She's nine, finds Bill. in the relationship. She's nine. What I'm going to say is difficult for many people to understand, but I think we need to ask young people how they feel about sex, sexual relationships that they have with other young people, with older people. Talia spoke about strategies for removing the stigma from, quote, man-boy contacts, lamented that some people treated her like a monster when they discovered she is pro-pedophilia, and stated that she believes there is nothing wrong with adults engaging in, quote, sex play with children as young as eight years old. I'm pro-pornography, pro-prostitution, pro-homosexuality, pro-abortion, pro-legalization of drugs, okay? I'm a libertarian. In that same interview, Pallia indicates that the only thing she respected postmodernist intellectual Michael Foucault for was for his position on pedophilia. There is a long correlation between anarchism and pedophilia and support for pedophilia. <laughs> the... Uh, I want something relevant. Yeah. Yeah. 
Foucault. Foucault. Uh, another way to ask this is, who argued? No, I guess the answer would be argued for the eradication of age of consent laws, as in down to infants. Who is Foucault? <laughs> In the year 2000, Pallia offered us a deeper insight into the origins of her pro-pedophilia thinking. She wrote a column for a Salon entitled, The Purity of Allen Ginsberg's Boy Love. Pallia wrote that Allen Ginsberg had enormous influence on her intellectual development, and that she would be proud to call him her guru, stating that Ginsberg had, quote, visionary sexuality, and that his, quote, celebration of boy love was, pure and sinless, which she believed demonstrated the, quote, limitations of the Christian paradigm of sexuality. Allen Ginsberg was a beat poet, notorious pedophile, and one of Nambla's earliest supporters. This is the poet Allen Ginsberg. Sweet boy, give me your ass. <laughs> Let me kiss your face, lick your neck, touch your lips, tongue, tickle tongue in, nose to nose, quack, question. Ever slept with a man Famous for writing a poem in the 1950s entitled Howl, in which he described his soul being entered by Moloch, the Canaanite god that demanded child sacrifice. Moloch, whose soul is electricity and banks! Moloch, whose poverty is the specter of genius! Moloch, whose fate is a cloud of sexless hydrogen! Moloch! Whose name is the mind, Moloch, in whom I sit lonely, Moloch, in whom I dream angels, crazy in Moloch, cocksucker in Moloch, lack love and madness in Moloch, Moloch, who entered my soul early, Moloch, in whom I am a consciousness without a body, Moloch who frightened me out of my natural ecstasy, Mola! Why is Camille Paglia being promoted by the media, the intellectual dark web, and people such as Jordan Peterson? Peterson even had her on his podcast and promoted her book in which she defends pedophilia. Something isn't right here. Paglia is being sold to us as a defender of social stability and champion of Western values when in reality, she is working to pierce the heart of the moral foundations of our civilization. She wants to legalize adults having sex with children and the production and distribution of child pornography. Why is she being promoted? Okay, all right. <laughs> That's a good one to close on. We agreed on everything, I knew it. I knew it, all right, great. Thank you very much. So I'm saying that, I mean, I know when I was a tiny child in the, in the Italian church, I didn't identify at all with Jesus and all and St. Joseph and all those mild-mannered people, the crash scene. I thought, what is this with the straw <laughs> and the animals? Now, I identify with the Magi, okay, like with the multiracial Magi with their beautiful costumes. It was only later I realized they were pagan astrologers and that all, already early on, I was picking up the, the residual paganism in the Roman church. St. Sebastian, the beautiful was, boy I, with arrows. I mean, this was my obsession. I was a tiny child staring. I mean, I never looked at Jesus. Jesus never interested me, whatever. 